All right, we're back. Um, just caught a, bought a large beaver here. It's shown here in the snare, shot it with 22. Caught it in the uh, caster mount set. Oh, it was actually a baited caster mount set, but not a real big beaver, but a beaver's a beaver. Uh, we, as we were walking down here, I noticed that a lot of the beaver were putting some mud and stuff up on the banks, making mud pies, so there's, there's definitely more beaver around here. Um, I had a, had a set right here. I actually have two sets here that you can't really see, but there's actually a bank den right here that goes out in the river and have a snare on that. And then right next to it is an old collapsed bank den, and I made a caster set here. Um, there, there isn't a really good spot to put mud up on the bank, so what I do in that instance is I just put caster on a stick, you know, about two feet behind the snare, and that works just about as good. So, what I'm going to start off with is, got a couple blocking off sticks here. I'm going to put this in the river bottom. I'm going to grab my axe here. I always carry one with me because you never know if I'm going to pound a stick in the bottom or cut something up or cut branches off something. There's that one there. Got a second block and off stick. Put in that litter stick, get away. And put that one in. Right about like so. Like that. Then we have our stick that the snare's gonna go on. Now I have a, a snare here and what I do is I, I load the snares myself at home or I can even do it out here. I have a chisel here and if I'm in a pinch I can load a snare here in like 30 seconds. But I'm going to run about a nine inch loop and what I do is I'll shove this stick in the bottom and have an idea of how far the snare needs to be off the bottom because this, this bottom could be rock hard and the, and the stick could go in two inches or the bottom could be really soft and the stick could go in two feet. Well, in this case, the stick will go on the ground about 10 inches, so I'm going to place the snare about 10 inches up on the stick. I'm going to set my loop like this. Twist my wire here. If you'll, if you'll notice on the stick here, I have the actual loop of my wire going up over this. Uh, that all, that helps to support, to support the snare. Um, there's also a spring here that you can run over your wire to support it. I do mine a little bit differently. But I'll twist the wire on here and I'll take a pair of side cutters and I'll just twist it up so it's relatively tight like so. I'll take my wire and I'll just wrap it around the snare like this. And that's how I like to support my snare. That way there's a nice hold on it when a beaver swims through it. Okay. Snare's a little bit big. I'll pull the wire back just to here. Cut a little bit of a twist. Let's turn it here a little bit. There we go. There we go. A little bit more. Voila. Got our snare. You know, and with this wire being wrapped around like this, if you want to set your snare up high, you know, you can put the wire like that. You want to put it down low, you can put the wire like that. That's the good thing about wrapping your wire around the snare itself. Um, if you don't want the snare to close very, you know, like, if you don't want the snare to totally drop right away, I suggest putting the lock on the side like this. Um, if you want your snare to drop faster, put the snare like that, because then the second you touch it, it's going to drop down. In this case here, I want it off to the side a little bit so the beaver can swim through. So, I'll go over here, wait where we're going to trap at. Let's have the snare, I'm going to push this down the water. A good ways. Bring my wire up in the air, right about like that. The snare's about two-thirds under the water. The beaver's head only pokes out of the water a couple inches, so this would be perfect. 
Over here I have a stake drove in the bank. Um, you can use rebar if you want. I use, I use rebar, I use a mix of things. But this is a very, uh, kind of a clay bottom in here and this stake is drove in quite a long ways. The wire itself, I'll, I'll wrap the wire around the stick and then I'll drive the stake into the bank so where the wire is actually around the stick is like four inches below the bank or else, because sometimes a beaver will cut the stick off. Well, if your wire is up here, the beaver cuts the stick off here, beaver's gone. So I always wrap the wire around the stick, pound it in a few more inches so it's actually under the ground. Beaver can't chew the stick off. Got my wire here. I twist it up real good. There we go. Got my snare set. <clears throat> then the other key is grass. Along the river here, there's wet grass everywhere. Um, there was a bunch of grass here before, so I'm going to disguise the set a bit. Put some of the grass back. It was here before. Make it look natural for the most part. Cover up that snare. A little grass over the stick here. There we go. Beaver comes swimming by. Smells that lure back there. That I'm, I haven't placed it yet, but I'm going to here in a second. Immediately, they want to go back there and check it out. They think that a uh, New beavers moving in in their colony. Um, I also have some red willow and basswood back here for eye appeal. They're swimming out in the river, they, they see that. They see the, the peeled stick and they think free meal. So I'm going to grab my lure. And for anyone that's out there, um, my lure is actually, I'll just take a caster out of a beaver. I know their caster is very high worth and money nowadays. But I'll take a caster out and mix it with a bunch of mud and uh, actually if you mix it with Vaseline also it, it keeps it from drying out. So actually, and then also sack oil. I have, I take the, the sacks out of some of the beaver. Like that. A little chunky caster on the end of the stick. Put it on there pretty good. As long as it isn't 100 degrees outside and whatnot. This caster isn't going to dry out for the most part, you know, right away. Caster's up in the air. Go ahead and wash this off in the water. And our snare is set. And I take large numbers of beaver every year out of these type of sets in the springtime. Um, and same same way, I mean, you can guard this with a 330 Kana bear. You know, you'll get the same effect. <clears throat> the reason I'm using a snare is because there's a house out here and somebody had trapped it with 330s earlier this winter and uh, they've been educated to 330s so you know sometimes snares are the only way you can get them so that's my that's my snare set um, we got some more traps to check and we'll probably try and set some more here in a little bit so we'll see you at the next spot